a really common test that I do just to make sure that everyone is doing the rear naked choke as efficient as possible. About. The idea is put your hands inside to defend. So I set up my grips and then I let them put two hands inside and basically pull down on my arm to defend. So that's a common way that people defend, especially when you have it locked up. What they'll do is they'll get their hands inside and they'll pull down on your arm to try to create some separation between your arm and their neck. Both hands, yep, grab. Inside? No, just, yep, grab, pull down. So what I do is I just give them a little bit of space to get a good grip inside my arm and then I tell them to defend by basically pulling my arm down and you should still be able to finish the rear naked choke using about 20%, 30% strength even when they're defending. Hold on. Doesn't this happen a lot? Right? So even if he has his hands inside, I should still be able to finish using 20, about 20% strength. So because their hands are inside, uh, your job is to tap with your foot. Yeah, a lot of times their hands are inside and they're not able to tap with their hands. So make sure you tell them to tap with their foot and then watch. Right, uh, pull down on my arm. Keep it tight, good, good, defend. So the first motion is connect to the neck. Good, then. So that's just a slight pinch. I retract and I just hold. You can see I'm not exerting anything and then whenever you wanna tap, just tap with your foot. And there you go, he almost went out at 20% strength, even when he's got a defense set up.